Hey everyone, thanks for watching DevSecOps, the good, the bad, the ugly. Today I have a, a special guest, um, Lewis. You got it. So uh, I actually, I, I reached out to Lewis because um, I, I, I know of this, you know, container scanning is, uh, is a hot topic, right, within DevSecOps now. Um, everybody's containerizing these days and needing to make sure those are secure. And so I, I said, Claire's a great, a great open source project. We'd like to promote stuff trying to stay away from vendor pitches, um, but anything that's you know, free for the community to benefit thought would be a great idea. So, so Lewis, that's why I brought you on. I really appreciate you being willing to share what you're doing. Definitely, yep. So yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about um, the, the open source project that you're working on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I work on the Claire team. Uh, it's an open source project and all our development uh, winds up being open and um, viewable by the community. And what Claire does is it is a container scanner. Uh, basically, it reports vulnerabilities yep. uh, after it indexes the contents of a container. Mm -hmm. And it reports those vulnerabilities uh, basically to the registries uh, that run those containers. Okay. So it's usually used as a accompanying service. Um, but that being said, it's open source. It's free. You're able to go to GitHub and just grab the latest versions and run it yourself. Right. So what, I mean, kind of the, the step back for, you know, to kind of provide some education right on Claire, but just in container scanning in sure. general, uh, can you talk about the different types of, of uh, containers, containing, containers scanning out there? Definitely, yeah. So the two types that I see uh, mostly would be the difference between uh, static analysis and real-time scanning. Okay. Claire, being on the side of a registry, focuses on static analysis. Now, what this means is that as containers are uploaded into the registry, right. they're scanned and they're reported with any vulnerable data. What within, are, is that within Quay? Okay. Yes, exactly. Right now, so Claire is focused on Quay. That's our main upstream project. So most of our development is focused around integrating with Quay, um, but it's not, you know, there's nothing that stops you. You don't need to have Quay to run Claire essentially. But the nice part of that is that Quay is at a very large scale. So thus, you know, Claire will work for your organizations because Quay is the second largest Docker uh, registry in the world, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. We'll have to actually. All right, that. no worries. Um, but to get back to your original question, um, there's two types um, of container scanning that I think is popular, and that's static analysis, and then there's runtime uh, scanning. And runtime is where the Docker um, environment that's actually running containers, there's usually a process that's looking at the container runtime and saying, new container has come up, let me look at the contents of the file system, uh, see if there's any vulnerabilities. Now, why Claire focuses on static analysis is because anecdotally, I don't have you know, metrics to back this up, but I believe that runtime scanning will not scale well uh, to really large registries. Because if you think about it, some of these customers are running many, many containers, and they wind up having to be scanned during runtime, there's implications in that along with performance and scale. So maybe in the future, Claire will have some kind of runtime properties around it, but for now, we know that a static analysis tool will work at the scales that Quay needs it to. So that's kind of why we focus on static analysis. Okay. Got it. So that's good to know, right? So when you're using Claire, it's going to be a, a, from a static analysis approach. Exactly. Uh, but free to use, right? To make sure yep. that the testing, that testing is being done on the container. So a great place to start uh, for those that, that aren't doing that. Uh, so how could, what would that look like, like in the workflow? Do you guys have any suggested workflows for Claire? Yeah. So um, just stepping back a little bit right now, my main focus is, um, are working on Claire v4. So we work on a pretty much a rewrite of the original Claire application. Claire v2 is still supported. Claire v3 is still supported. However, most of our focus is on Claire v4, which um, is basically took a look at what Claire v2 was doing and made tweaks, re-architected 
all for performance scale and just general ease of development. Okay. Um, so we do have um, deployment architectures around Claire v4. You will be able to see those at our GitHub repository. Um, most of the architectures involve a registry involved. So right now, obviously, again, the focus is on Quay. Um, but what would normally happen is in your um, container workflow, you'd have either CI, CD, or your workstation tools push a container up to a registry. Let's just use a registry. And then that registry would actually take the contents of that container, and it would tell Claire where it can fetch those contents. Okay. And any kind of you know, authentication information that needs to happen because a lot of people want to keep that content secure. Mm -hmm. So Claire will take those authentication information, go and grab the layers, do the analysis, and then return to you a report. And that report can be parsed um, by a client. We will be writing clients for Claire so that if you did not actually want to use it with a registry, you can basically use a client instead. Um, but right now, the major focuses are on registry deployments. Right, okay, no, that's great, that's great. Um, so really the last question that, that I have, Lewis, is maybe is there any other open source projects, right? Because I wanna make sure that we're highlighting free tools that people can be using, right? To, to, to write, you know, great software, anything else that you recommend? Sounds like maybe Quay. Yeah, I think you read my mind. It would be criminal for me not to, uh, not to also suggest, you know, taking a look at Quay. Right. Um, it's really a successful container registry. And, you know, it's a New York City tech, which we're always very excited about because, you know, this is my home area. So um, it's nice to see successful projects uh, from the area. But yeah, I would definitely, you know, take a look at Quay, take a look at what the new versions of Claire that are coming out. Um, those are really my day-to-day -day focuses. So those are what's, you know, the tools that are kind of on my mind. Hey, that's great. I, I really appreciate you shedding some light on uh, some resources that we could be using. I guess if anybody wants to reach out to Lewis, he's also on LinkedIn as well as GitHub. That's where I found you. So um, thanks so much for taking the time. Definitely. I appreciate it as well.